to get fuel and I thought I would take you guys along with me. So I'm going to be going to Shell gas station to get a little bit of fuel just to show you how the Shell pay at pump feature works. Um, it's quite different from the other ones offered from Tesco, Asda and the rest of them. Um, this one, you just use your mobile phone. So there's no card reader or there's no facility at the pump dispenser itself to take payment. It's all done over the cloud and web-based, internet-based. Um, it works really, really well. I kind of like this feature and I think it was wise from Shell to implement this type of feature because it, it doesn't take as much investment as it would do if they installed card readers at all the dispensers. Um, so this one works really, really well. I think it works well. Again, I've used it a few times now and it's been great so far. So here we go. So first and foremost, you need to download the app. Once you've done that, you of course have to register. Follow all the on-screen instructions. It's pretty straightforward. I've already registered, so I'll I can just sign in using my details and of course it'd be good to save your password again formalities safety message so once you've done that keep scrolling to the right and you select which pump number you're at then you select the amount so i'm going to select 20 pounds and you can pay via whichever method is saved to your account in my account, my default payment method is Apple Pay um, because all my cards are already logged with Apple Pay. So it's just easy for me to pay that way. So once you've done that, um, of course, once the payment has gone through, you can then proceed to put fuel in the car. One thing I like about this XC90 is that it doesn't have a filler cap, which is great. Less messy and pretty straightforward and quick. So once the payment has gone through and it's been authorised, it's very quick and there's no lag to the system. Let's skip forward a little bit. So as you can see there, I have requested £20 but only £19.15 worth of fuel that was delivered and that's because if there's any lag in the system or the cloud should go down for whatever reason it might run over and then overcharge me but it doesn't because they pre-authorize your card and then they will take payment of whatever has been delivered to your tank. So as you can see they will send you an electronic receipt that shows the amount you have been charged. So £19.15. And also, if you check your credit card statement or debit card statement, you will see that £19.15 has been taken off your card. Another interesting feature you get once you register with the Shell app is reward points. So the more you visit, the more rewards you get. So this is a map of the stations that have the pay at pump feature. Most of them do, so you know, you don't really have to worry about that. Also, you get a Shell loyalty card every time you visit, whether you buy something in the store or you buy V Power, um, you get a reward point. 10 of those equals some free stuff, so good to note.